Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Eve. Um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup look. Um, this is the makeup look that I wore on New Year's Eve actually, using the So Su by SJ um, and Kaleli, Kaleli? I can't speak. Using the So Su by SJ and Kaylee Urban Bible eyeshadow palette. Um, I love this palette so much, it's got some beautiful shades in it. Um, so yeah, I created this makeup look using it. It's just, you can't actually see it now because there are the reflection on my glasses. Um, but it's just kind of like blues and like neutral tones. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm not used to this YouTube stuff. Um, but yeah, I created this makeup look. Um, and if you want to see how I created this, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Conceal and Define. I've been recently doing is, where's my mirror? I use this and I also go over with the, I have a heart heart ready, the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. Yeah, so I don't actually use foundation just because I don't like the way that my skin looks when I wear loads of makeup. And this just kind of covers what I want to cover. Yeah, and then I take the Celestial Drops and I just kind of put this just like over the top. Oh, I got it in my hair. I know this bit's not blended, but I'm going to go back in with my highlighter brush to do that. I'm just kind of focusing on blending out the bits which have the concealer with them. Okay, I'm going to use the MAC Cork eyeshadow and a 266 brush just to fill in my brow. So I'm back with brows, I probably look a little bit crazy right now. I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, banana powder. I did used to use this one, but that ran out, so I have to use this one now because the other one's too dark. Um, this isn't a setting powder or a mattifying powder, but I just can't bring myself to buy another powder. Um, so I just use this at the minute. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of my base. I'm not gonna do all of it because just because I feel like I look crazy right now and I can't like focus on it when I look like this. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the contour kit again and I'm gonna use a mixture between the middle shade and this one. So I didn't film um, what I got for Christmas video um, like I used to when I used to do YouTube. Um, the main reason being because my mum, I worked Christmas Day, and um, my mum packed away all my presents, but I literally, like, I opened them, and then I literally left for work, so I can barely remember what I got, because it was all, like, really quick. Um, I can just remember, like, the main things that I got. I got this gorgeous Paul Valentine watch, which you can probably see is, like, seashell. It's, like, pearlized. I got that from um, my boyfriend, and then I got this... Wait, let me come closer so you can see. I got this gorgeous little, um, I got this gorgeous little Olivia Burton necklace from my mum. But yeah, I also got this Britney Spears top. I can't show it properly, but that's some top shop. I knew I was getting that. Go back in with the Revolution Concealer and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelids just to prime. I'm not gonna apply too much, just a very light amount. Saying that I just covered my entire fucking eyelids in it, so maybe not. Using the So Sue by SJ X Kaylee um, Urban Bible palette. It's not in focus, but I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Saviour. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my crease with this BH Cosmetics number no. six brush. Since I like since I stopped doing YouTube, obviously so much has happened in my life, like it's crazy, like so much good stuff, so much bad stuff. Like I finished my A-levels. Um, and I'm now at uni, I go to uni in York, like I'm at home now for the Christmas holidays but I go back in like five days, so if I do carry on doing YouTube, um, sorry I should do my makeup as I talk otherwise I'm going to be here all day, um, but if I do carry on like doing this whole YouTube thing again, um, this won't be my background, I'll obviously have to film in York, um, but I'm just hoping that the lighting situation there will be good because my room is so small I couldn't take my studio light that I'm using now. Um, but I have this like really big window in my room, so I'm hoping that that will be enough to like just light, just light me up. But I honestly don't know at this point. 
But yeah, and I'm going to use the number five brush, which is a slightly bigger, fluffier brush. I'm going to take the shade Faith, which is this bright yellow colour. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of this um, on my brush. And I'm just going to blend this just above Saviour, just to kind of blend it a bit more and to add a little bit of colour. So yeah, that's just added a very slight amount of colour. Take the shade Prophecy, which is this slightly deeper, more red toned brown. And I'm just going to apply this, kind of focusing on the outer corner and blending it into the crease, just a very little bit. Just going to blend this like halfway into the crease. a tiny bit of the shade Oath, which is this really, really dark, almost black brown, um, on the, just on the same brush. And I'm just going to kind of run this very close to my lash line. In fact, I might actually use a different brush for this. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in with the number eight brush, which is like this kind of fluffy shade of brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And I'm just going to smoke this onto my lash line a little bit. and also on the outer corner. Now, my favorite bit of this look, I'm gonna take some of this shade Chaos, which is kind of like an oil spill shade. I'm just gonna apply this like half the way into my lid and blending it into all the other shades where it meets them. Can you see? The game changer with this, I learned this from Kaylee's video and she took the shade Aura which is this really really gorgeous like bright teal colour and it's shimmery as well. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this on my finger and just apply this right to the centre of the lid where I've applied Chaos and just kind of blend it out with my finger. I'm going to start off with a bit of saviour and I'm just going to put this underneath my eye. Take a little bit of Aura again, which is the gorgeous teal shade. I would never ever ever normally use a shade like this because I'd be so intimidated by it but I think incorporating into this like kind of neutral look looks so cool. I'm just going to pop this right on the inner corner. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colossal Go Extreme Leather Black Mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom eyelashes. I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer with the same brush I used before, the MAC 166, 168, I can't remember what it's called, um, but this is like one of the most popular brushes. And I'm just going to apply this over the top of where I applied the contour earlier. I love like super, super dark bronzer, like not like, so I look like an orange chav, but I, oh, I feel like I'm can you see that black streak on my forehead there? Hmm, I feel like I've dipped my brush into black. I'm going to go in with highlighter, but I'm not going to use as much as I normally would because obviously I put the um, liquid illuminator underneath. I'm going to use the same Makeup Forever one on this Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. I pretty much apply this everywhere because I'm obsessed with highlighter. Um, but I'm going to apply it like all the way back onto my temples. I learned this from Nikki Tutorials' this video which she did with Rihanna's makeup artist. And if you just apply it all the way back here, like when you turn apparently it makes it look really good. So I just like to do that. Um, I like to put it down the bridge of my nose and then on the tip. 
This is, oh, this has got black on it. Oh my God, my brush has got black on it. What am I gonna do to fix that? I don't even know. Maybe my concealer brush. Oh my God, that is so bad. I'm gonna have to put concealer over that. The MAC Mocha blush. I also like to go over the bridge of my nose because it makes me feel like I've actually been out in the sun. But I'm ginger and I live in the UK, so I don't really get much. Here's a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Um, this is, for, whenever I do wear lipstick, which I don't actually wear lipstick that often, this is what I'll wear. Oh, finally I'm taking my Fenty Beauty lip gloss and I'm just going to apply this over the top because I much prefer glossy lips to matte and this has got hair on it. Disgusting. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new here. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if this video is a bit all over the place and a bit of a mess, but I haven't filmed like a talking, like chat through video in about two years. So please bear with me. Hopefully I'll get better if I do continue doing this, which I really hope I do. Um, my cat has come to visit. Ah! He ran off. He's cute. He's called Pigsy, in case you want to know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then like I said, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video.